Sandra Carvão, Chief of Communications of the World Tourism Organization. One of the main topics that was discussed at uh, this Executive Council is the celebrations of 2017 as the International Year of Sustainable Tourism for Development. Um, at the end of 2015, the United Nations General Assembly has proclaimed that next year will be the celebration of this very important occasion for us. Um, it's a recognition by the international community of the tourism capacity to foster development, to create jobs, but also to advance a more sustainable society. Um, UNWTO, as the United Nations agency responsible for tourism, has been mandated to organize the celebrations of the year. And for us, it will only be a success if everyone involved in the sector, every country, every private sector, every tourist is engaged in this celebration. Um, it's really an opportunity to show that tourism is one of the sectors that can actually lead into what the leaders of the world agreed as the new sustainable development goals, an agenda that is universal and should guide us um, in our roadmap until 2030. And we want to make sure that tourism is leading in that agenda and next year will be a great opportunity to show what we can do to be leaders in sustainable development. In Malaga, Spain, uh, these days will be dedicated to how can we build a framework of safe, secure and seamless travel. Um, what we want to make sure is that uh, we increase the security of travelers, but at the same time we can make the travel process as seamless as possible, not creating unnecessary barriers to travel. Um, UNWTO has been working long on issues of security uh, and safety, because it's very important that we have a broad perspective of safety and security. We're talking about physical threats, but we're also talking about issues of natural disasters. Um, we're also talking about health scares. We have seen, for example, how uh, issues of the Zika virus in Latin America and other areas of the world. We have seen the threat that Ebola has posed to Africa. So what we are talking about is how can tourism and everything that is related to safety and security of travelers can work together to ensure that the tourism sector is not affected when there's a crisis. Um, at the same time, we want to make sure that there's no tendency to bring up barriers to travel. Um, we have seen that there has been an increase of travel facilitation in the recent years, um, and we think that security and travel facilitation can actually reinforce each other, um, not necessarily their opposites, on the contrary, they can reinforce each other. We live in um, a challenging moment in, in the sector, but the most important thing to always consider is that um, any threat, uh, either from a security point of view or from a health point of view or from a natural point of view, is something that has to be dealt with at a global level. Uh, we have seen that international tourism has been very resilient um, in spite of many challenges that we have faced. We had an increase of 50 million international tourists traveling the world in 2015. Uh, but of course, there's regions who have been impacted by serious uh, events. These regions, when they are affected, tourism is affected, their economy is affected, societies are affected. So this is something that first the community uh, at international level needs to do globally with it. It needs to reinforce cooperation. Um, we have heard here in the meeting how delegates have talked about exchange of information, um, how to collaborate more at a regional level, um, and we need to make sure that this is happening as a way to actually increase um, our capacity to prevent, manage, and also recover from um, events that might threaten the continued growth of the tourism sector. Um, one of the important issues that is always mentioned is the issue of travel advisories, um, and UNWTO has been working uh, strongly on creating recommendations for countries on travel advisories. Um, we have recommendations approved by our General Assembly that actually make a clear reference to the need to have travel advisories very well um, noted in terms of how are they being implemented, uh, regionally uh, identified and not the whole country, but also to be reviewed very uh, frequently to make sure that the situation on the ground is well re reflected in the travel advisories. Well, one of the big issues that was discussed, and it's always a priority for UNWTO, is the need to have cross-cutting 
governmental policies that support the development of tourism. Um, unfortunately, there is still a misperception that tourism is about the sun and the sea and having fun. Tourism is actually about jobs, it's about creating infrastructure, generating exports, uh, creating opportunities for local communities, but actually for that to come all together into life, there needs to be a national policy at global level that allows for all the government administration responsible for transport, responsible for visas, responsible for education, for tourism, for transport to come together and work towards one objective which is to actually use tourism as a tool for development.